still alive. There's a reason why he has evolved back into my life 41 years later. Only on Fox tonight, brothers torn apart by violence hope to be reunited through love, but time is running out. Fox 17's Roger Susanna now joins us to explain why this family reunion may not happen without some help from people right here in Middle Tennessee. Quite a story, Roger. Oh, no doubt about it, Scott. Charles O'Neill lives here in Spring Hill. Now, he has not seen his brother in more than 40 years. He lives in North Dakota now, more than 1,000 miles away. But the brothers hope that the Internet and the generosity of strangers can bring them back together one final time. Charles O'Neill and his big brother Ricky are devoted family men, the polar opposite of their own abusive dad. My father took me out of my mother's arms and laid me in the crib and started to smack my mother. And my brother stepped in and said, no, you're not going to do it anymore. It's done. And Ricky was 16. Charles and his mom, Ginger, Ricky's stepmother, ran away that night. But sadly, it was also the last time the two brothers ever saw one another. Without meeting him, I love him with everything I have. I mean, there's a good possibility my mother wouldn't be alive now if it wasn't for him. The O'Neill boys had been looking for one another for years, until yesterday morning when Charles Seven, got an email. Charles Jeffrey O'Neill, you, you're the only living relative that can be found. Ricky's wife, Kelly, tracked Charles down and wanted to set up a reunion. But sadly, the email also contained less happy news. I just wanted to let you know your brother Rick is at the end of his battle with stage 4 liver, lung, and heart cancer. Ricky has less than two weeks to live. And because of some difficult financial circumstances, Charles can't afford to go see him in North Dakota. He can't bear the thought of not saying goodbye. It's like you're losing your bloodline because we don't know what we got out there left, you know? But Charles is holding out hope. His wife, Amanda, started a GoFundMe page to raise money. They believe even $300 would pay for the gas he needs to get to Bismarck to get to his big brother. You don't know me, and God knows I don't know you, but you would be making a dying man's dream and a healthy man's dream, two, two brothers' dream come true. Uh, now, Charles was only nine months old the night that he and his mother left, so he doesn't actually even remember meeting Ricky. Now, obviously, he's hoping that some generous folks can make that meeting happen more than 40 years later. We mentioned he has a GoFundMe page. If you'd like to help out, just visit fox17.com and click on this story. We have a link to that GoFundMe page. Roger Susanen, Fox 17 News.